I'm here with Dana Blumberg and uh, Jason Merrill from Red Thread Chicago. And it's crazy. You guys are fresh off the street from marching in the teacher's strike. Like, you are up you, with your sign still and everything. That's so <laughs> wild. Oh, my God. Are you? Are the, it, and you literally just came right off the street? So today we, we met over at Lincoln Yards, yep. the Sterling Bay development that uh, the city's given a lot of money to, and CPS and CTU, for that matter, teachers' union, yeah. isn't... Isn't, mm-hmm. isn't appreciative of that, like seeing the money go yeah. to that development as opposed to our schools. So I, we were up there today. Yeah, so we were marching with, I don't even know how many people were there, a lot. Thousands. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, well, thank you for coming up here, because I, I literally saw your guys' stuff on Instagram. Now, um, and I was like, oh, those are cool. Those are cool shirts. Those are cool hats. <laughs> nice. And I was like, oh, they have a really cool meaning behind okay. them, and they they have a really, really cool uh, message and a, and a powerful, um, you know, uh, a task that you guys are trying to do. Go ahead and complete as well, which we're going to get into. So why don't you just explain exactly what Red Thread uh, Chicago is? Because people obviously can't see it right now. Right. Sure. So Red Thread Chicago is uh, an online apparel store that Dana and I started. And the origins go back to about five years ago. Yeah. I I created the Fist of Power. And and that's the, a symbol that's on your chest mm-hmm. right so now, it's right? a fist with the Chicago flag right. emblemized across of it. And then also the love which is, you know, the L and the, and then Apple with the Chicago flag and then V and E below it. And yeah, I created those. I I wasn't real happy with the message that we teachers were sending. I thought our image, we needed like a PR campaign and seeing things out there. So did you create this as to be a symbol for teachers? Absolutely. Okay. And I thought we just simply needed a stronger message. I didn't think that teachers on the whole were, or still are for that matter, a respected segment of the working place. And I thought that we could have, I I initially, I I wanted to help. And so I know that we all work hard. We're all very dedicated to our profession. I don't think we're superheroes by any stretch. I think a lot of us are wonderful people, just like in any other profession, and yours and mine alike. And I thought that I I wanted to to tell the world that we are powerful, hence the fist, that we are together, we're united, we stand proud, we stand tall. And then love, like we love what we do. And then I've had some of the best friendships that that have endured over years. I've been to three schools and I've, the love I have amongst my colleagues, you know, the things we've been through, the things we've done together, it makes me proud to be a teacher. Hence, these two images were born, and thankfully, the first time around, they they caught on like wildfire. So, so you created these images and you created the clothing. What with the attempt when you first put them out, what was do you think the goal was? What were you trying to raise the money for? So Jason will talk about that because I actually wasn't. He started this on his own. Okay. Okay. And my and, wife Annie was helping out. Okay. So. When I initially created them through a graphic designer, um, one of the goals was to fund a debate team that I was coaching. Okay. So we were like intramural, and, and we finally got a, an invitation to the Chicago Debate League, where I coached for a couple of years. And so we raised, I think, uh, gave back to school a couple thousand dollars. So Fantastic! I, yeah, it was really cool, and it, it spread. You know, even you know, local businesses, Perfect Cup on, uh, I think they're on Southport, family family owned business, part of Nettle Horse School where yeah. I'm at, and you know they were able to sell them from there. So it was really cool, and. So years later, um, yeah. So I, Jason was wearing the sweatshirt. Like I want to say it was maybe it was in April. We met our my husband uh, is a therapist, and her, her his wife works for my husband. Okay, and so we just connected that way, and we both work for CPS. And so I saw him wearing the shirt, and I was like, I need one. I have to have one. Where'd you get it? He's like, I I made it, and I'm like, oh well, um, maybe we should bring it back. It'd be really cool. And we kind of like dropped it for a few months and then the, the summer was passed by and um and news about the yeah. strike and, and the impending dissension between the ctu and cps like that became bigger and bigger news and right. they had been working on negotiations when did all this start when did the first idea start so we had what a year? timeline like five yeah. years ago okay so five years ago your your goal was to just have this this symbol and uh-huh. then you found the symbol and you said okay if i put it on some clothes and uh, you create a symbol, you put it on some clothes apparel you can sell, you can raise some money for something you need to. And that mm-hmm. time it was a debate team. Exactly. And so you're wearing this this uh, symbol on a sweatshirt and Dana sees it. Mm-hmm. So gotcha. we yes. started talking and, and there was one fateful day we were, our families were together and I was driving with her husband, Mike. And I asked Mike, I said, look, are we, was Dana really serious about this shirt thing? He's like, oh yeah. He gave me a look and I was like, all right, we'll, uh, I'll talk to her. So we met. A number of times in the in the coming months, coming weeks, weeks. And it was like two weeks before school started. It happened yeah. really fast. Yeah, and we just 
burn the midnight oil. Like we were up late and just trying to hack it out. And we, Jason wanted to also we and we talked about this as far as like making sure we have um, we're giving back. And we kind of talked about like what our vision was for that as well. Um, and like where we wanted to go with that, too. So which I thought was awesome. And so that's kind of how. And go back. So you guys are yeah. both educa- mm-hmm. educators in CPS, yes. right? Yes. And uh, what schools are you at? I'm at Nettlehorst Elementary. It's oh, in fantastic. East Lakeview. Yeah. Yep. Broadway. And I work at Avenger, which is on the northwest side. Okay. I'm a school counselor, actually. Oh, okay. so, awesome. Yeah. 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 Which we need more of you. Yes, as, I know. As, as I know. Well, I'm well, the well. only one in my school of 875 or so. so oh, yeah. my God. It's crazy. Yeah. It's and crazy. It's, yeah. <laughs> and this is why, I mean, it's so interesting that we're talking to you during the strike as well. Why? Right. Because this is exactly, uh, you were made for this like this is what you, you didn't know it yet but when <laughs> no, you were we thinking didn't. <laughs> yeah when you were when you you know were going ahead and making this symbol of you need to be represented in uh you this was for this uh, ultimately mm-hmm. when it came down to it so while we're still in the middle of it and we don't know when it's going to end um i love that you're able to go ahead and not rep- not only represent uh, a brand that you come up with but a belief that you've come up with in such a um an interesting way and again i saw it just on instagram so i think you did a really really good job with with something that uh i think it's really important when you have a message that you want people especially on apparel that people will wear every day yeah yeah and that message too i mean so when we initially met we talked about how this going back five years how we managed to fund the debate team that was really cool it was a huge victory yeah this time we thought you know what we there's such a bigger segment of the population especially in the city that we could help and look for some organizations to reach out to some active members of, of my network and my community. And we stumbled upon this place called Chicago Hopes for Kids. Okay. And they service, they provide educational support for homeless kids in shelters across the city. And it's bittersweet. Like they can help. Like they, they had funding with CPS for a period of a few years, maybe three years. Yeah. So I guess they cut, cut. fund. Yeah. In 2010, okay. which is kind of interesting because that was another service that yeah. the school district provided. And but there are, and yeah. one of the, and one of the major topics for this strike, not only social workers and nurses and, and huge classroom sizes, um, but also for the ho- there's a homeless population. The numbers yeah. are, I think 16,000 documented homeless kids that are in CPS. And oh that's my a, God. That's mm-hmm. a segment that we simply couldn't ignore. And yeah. We went in, we met with the, the folks that run the organization and determined right then and there, like, this is this is a place we need to help right away and, and shed a light on what they're going through, the fact that they're nonprofit, they're they're simply getting by with private funds and, and donations. So we want to help them and, and yeah. bring a lot more uh-huh. notice to their cause. So a dollar for every item we sell goes to them. We already delivered a check. We visited a shelter a couple weeks ago to help out and volunteer. Red, so Red Beagle was wonderful. So we so um, homeless students that are in temporary living situations, um, they have a lot of a- they often lose a lot of academic um, skills because if they're going from place to place. So kids that are living in shelters. Sure. So this program provides assistance after school in shelters because of that academic the oh, loss wow. that can yeah. happen when they're dealing with being in a temper. It's called a temporary living situation. Sure. So and it's a you know such an at risk population and often. That People in, don't realize that they're there, so we felt like it was something that needed attention. Yeah, needed attention. And yeah, mm-hmm. positive at that. And yeah. we, the fact that we went in and loved them from the start, just from meeting like like this, and then we actually went in to to one in Sangamon, and it was it was awesome. It was a really cool experience. Tightly run, uh, focuses on the kids, on yeah. play, on reading skills, on math, on homework. What ages are some of the are these kids? Does it range all? I think over? they said six to. 11 and they were adding and so i think it depends on where the program is um okay. running out There's of different and like, shelters for yeah. different needs family needs what uh have you seen what, what have you seen as a response from the kids have they been really responsive to it or is well, it kind so, of based? yeah so i guess they so they run like 10 week sessions or so for they, so we're not running the program it's right through their but you're program. helping fund right. them with the, we with were the yeah shirts. we yeah. provided them yeah the, and so the yes they are responsive they like keep data and they show that they're not that they're and it's Keeping a their used. skills exactly. That's great. So mm-hmm. they keep the fact that they, I mean, there's success stories. Yeah, yes. and, and yes. as much as yes. we, there's a debate on you know data driven education, but yeah. the fact they've got some data going as far as their lit skills, they test them and then they test them fairly often. But it's like also the attention of having someone there every day after school. They have a routine consistency. A consistency yeah. exactly, yeah. and they're it's with like some of the same kids. Same place yeah. to get help. Yeah, and they're That's all in nice. Yeah, that's the I think I've, the consistency is one of the easiest way to start start the. Uh, process habits. of breaking the cycle yeah. yes um and and i really do believe that but so do you, you guys have the apparel and you guys can basically take that money and do whatever you want with it yes. right so where you see a need you can go ahead and try and help mm-hmm. build that void which is which is 
it's kind of like our vision. So yeah. like we're so young. We you know we so when I came in, we kind of okay, we're gonna make the biz- where you like became a partnership and did all the things right. that we need to do to like and get an online store and all that stuff. And it's a lot easier than to like figure out you know where our vi- but we want to to give back to like different organizations like local ones yeah. small ones that need That's you know that don't get a ton of like well and, and you know shout of, outs yeah exactly and, and part of why i think we're in education like for me personally i teach social studies and we do a lot of like civic action-minded community-based learning and, and we do yeah we talk about real life because we can't ignore that so even like looking at history from multiple perspectives you're a social studies teacher yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's it's home exactly yeah. we preach and we we preach real real hard about understanding from as many different sources, like getting to know everyone's perspective based on their beliefs there. And we want to just destroy ignorance. So yeah. part of this, like for us, when we, and we're ignorant, like, I don't know everything. I don't know all the causes out there. The fact that he stumbled upon, that we stumbled upon Chicago Hopes for Kids, I think was faithful. It was amazing. Could not be happier that we're, we're, we're mm-hmm. partnered up with them, but th- there's a lot more out there. And yeah. I can't wait to find out mm-hmm. what else we can contribute to based on, and thankfully the popularity of our, our designs. Well, so. And- um, again, we're here with Dana and Jason mm-hmm. from Red Thread Chicago, an online apparel sto- store that is uh, really in the in the heart of the teacher strike right now. And you guys get back to the community in so di- so many different ways. How and you're both uh, in the education system. How how is the uh, strike affecting you personally? I uh, mean, it's definitely hard. I'll be yeah. honest. Um, it I did this you know seven years ago. It's just hopefully so in the twi- in yeah. the tw- you were there for the 2012 yeah both, i was uh, there yeah both of you yeah Ooh, geez. Yep. um it's hard it's just hoping that we can come to an agreement and also like it's a lot obviously we talked we've they've talked a lot about this it's not about the salary it's like we need more yeah. people helping we just need more people there um, it's resources that, you and know, like our working conditions are tough you yeah. know it's like i said i'm the only Ultimately, one that, yeah that um it, a lot of people have a misconception that it's teachers being selfish. They want more money. Right. They want more things. They want right. to, but all, at the basis of all of this is providing the resources yes, and education 100%. to the kids. Right. And yes. I don't know how people miss that. And we, I'm sorry that true. people do. It's I want to apologize. That's why we got to give back. <laughs> yeah. And it's like we got to get – that's what I think is bringing to light, which is helping, whether it's like through – I think it's – Helping bring these issues to light of like what this is what we're dealing with here yeah. exactly. You guys don't want to be on strike. No, no it not. doesn't make any sense. <laughs> and, and, and again, it, the misconceptions are that right. It's about salary, which it clearly isn't, yeah. and it's also that we're having fun out there. We're not like we're doing it, but rather than stick our hands in our pockets yeah. and sit and just right. hopefully people will honk for us. I've I, I managed to you know make a sign and then grab a tambourine and I'm out there. I'm moving. Yeah, I'm, mm-hmm. getting, I'm just. Staying active, keeping people happy, like letting them know that we're our leadership, which we really believe in. I've got a friend at, at school who's also in the contract negotiations board getting updates and like they're working tirelessly, like up until midnight, 2 a.m. I think was last yeah. night uh-huh. into the early morning hours, working so hard. And they've been doing it since January. I mean, this is it's daunting. Yeah. And for us out there in the streets, we want to keep spirits alive. We want to let people know that we are there for the community. We have every intention of getting back there, but we're working for a better deal, even like. And a hard, of it, a hard part for me specifically is that I'm in a really good neighborhood. And so a lot of the stuff that we're fighting for doesn't always affect us. Yeah, we don't see it firsthand. For yeah. Yeah. Even though like mm-hmm. in my, I teach sixth and seventh right now, my two seventh grade classrooms are 36 and 37 students. Oh, my God. And I'm like average height for a seventh grade student. So sure, I, yeah. So I grow out a little <laughs> facial hair. Like I get lost in the mix. And I don't let them wear hats. I wear one. I'm like a teacher hat. Right. Anyway, so <laughs> like that's that is a problem that affects like our very own backyard, and yeah. it's it's there. And but other schools don't have a social worker. They don't have. We have a nurse there every nurse day, is, but yeah. that's also because we have a student who needs one, and otherwise we'd have a nurse there two days a week. And we're busting wow. the seams like seven fifty, yeah. and that's it's not that's not a system we could we could let go. Like, you know, we cannot. Right. Right. Go back to status quo. Right. We um right. we came out there. So uh, was it Tuesday was the big one? Oh, Wednesday. Uh, you know what? Wednesday, Somebody Wednesday, told me yeah. that they saw you, actually. Yeah. So, yes. uh, so we came <laughs> out there. And, and, you know, I have friends, like I said, I have friends and family in the CPS school system as educators. And I, at, at this point, at some point, it's just demoralizing yeah. not being listened to. And I know it can beat you guys down and. Uh, and you know, you keep in mind what you're fighting for. And our goal out there was just, you know, we, uh, we brought donuts and, you know, That's coffee so nice. or whatever, That's but, awesome. yeah. you know, it, I would have liked to bring more, but really it was just to, <laughs> to, rem- to say, Hey, we're, we, you're not being ignored. Like we see you where I'm on the outside. We see you, we hear you, mm-hmm. we, we believe in what you're fighting for. Keep going and try to re-energize. But I did, I saw people out there with 
the uh, Red Thread Chicago okay, awesome. clothing on. I mm-hmm. noticed it right away, and I was like, "What are you the people I was emailing with?" <laughs> and they were like, "No, I have no idea what you're talking about, but I love the shirt." <laughs> so, but then, then they did. But they brought you guys up nice. and said that you guys that's, were around there. And that's I do, awesome. And I think that's really cool that that uh, to you know different people in different places connected by something that you are you've created yes. to be yeah. a symbol for that. It's so too. cool seeing that. Like I've seen, we've seen people's kids wearing the shirts, and it's like an instant, like oh my god, that's awesome. We're all in this yeah. together, and it's been that's been really cool, hasn't it? Yeah, in, yeah, in it's fact, been awesome. Yeah, well, this time around we decided to go with kids stuff too, right? And then also another design, Soul, which we're kind of happy about too. Like another reason why. I thought like an image that teachers could use. Like we have soul. Like, we, so he's a lot yeah, of ideas. He's like our ideas first. Awesome. He well, like <laughs> well, the fact that our kids, yeah. our kids, like my son was like distraught when I said we didn't yet make the kid size. He was like upset to try to squeeze, try to like bundle into the small. I'm like, yeah, right, we'll get you some more. So like even our kids love them and mm-hmm. it makes sense because it's I think it embodies what we stand for and why we're out there in have the first you, place. Have um, you? Do you think you'll be able to get some massive funding? Like, I, I feel like there's got to be some good companies out there that hopefully maybe even hear this and say, hey, we want to back it. Here's a chunk of change. We Make these shirts, that. get them out there. Um, we have a lot of ideas, like too, that, that we are, amazing. like, kind of working yeah. on. And, you know, there's only two of us. So, like, we're literally packing <laughs> Packages out of oh, my basement. Oh, you're just doing it the two of you now. Yes, it's just oh us two. Like we, I didn't realize. I didn't know. Yeah. 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 No, it's totally. Everyone's been. we've been yeah. doing. I mean, we're shipping out tons of stuff and like our hope. There's been a lot of solidarity, a lot of solidarity from other yeah. um, cities as well. And we would love for people to feel proud to wear that in their city too, or like you know yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah. Let's say uh, Shark Tank gets dropped on your lap, right? And you get some kind of big old <laughs> chunk of change and something that you can go ahead and use as a resource. What do, what do you see the company becoming oh, down the road? Like, I think like one of my one of the companies that I really admire is Tom's. Like how okay. they, yeah. yep, mm-hmm. uh, every pair they sell they yeah. give to someone who needs. That's like that. I mean that kind of selflessness and giving back to yes. a community, especially like a segment that Tom yeah found and like he put his heart and soul into. It. I mean yeah, the beauty is and again it's like bittersweet, but there's a lot of other organizations out there, um, other other parts of the population that. Do need that the attention and also the funds. Yes. We want to just keep finding more than need, but also really mm-hmm. build up Chicago Hopes too. We really, we believe and we're only in half the shelters here. I mean, literally, yeah. we are. Is that your main focus, Chicago Hopes? Well, right you, now, yeah. like right. just for right now. I mean, as far as like until, you know, once let's see what happens. You know, it's like we don't know what's happening with the strike or anything. Right, we yeah. didn't even know where we'd be at at this, at this point. But um, ideally, we want to. Pro- like we do want to um, get involved with some other. I have like an idea of a couple other organizations sure. that I want to like work with. I think that's the well. glory of what yeah. you have here, though, too, is you can say, "Hey, okay, where's there a need?" Yeah, and let's see if we can fill that. And yeah, and really, the only way you can do that is if people start buying some more shirts. Yeah, you that's know, true. And, and, and that's really ultimately mm-hmm. what we yeah. what we want to. Uh, you know, uh, what's what's interesting is like you see a lot of online stores and a lot of online apparel places. Like I said, I just saw the shirt and thought it was cool. And I That's was like, awesome. oh, what's this That's about? That's really nice, yeah. Ended up clicking on it uh, and realized there was so much more to it. And then to find out you're you're also in the education system and you guys are on strike today. Like, it is it is crazy to mm-hmm. think of how it all comes, you know, full circle. True. Um, but I do think it's amazing that you created something that you, you saw a need, you saw a, a void for something and, and you were able to create something. So many people, like you said, sit by and go, well, somebody should fix that. And you're like, how Absolutely. do we fix that? How Let's fix, fix that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, so yeah. cheer, cheers to you guys Thank for you. that. Thanks. Definitely. What um, what else could help you guys? Is it just sales? Do you need, I mean, obviously word of mouth, spread on social media. Yes, like um, that. Getting our designs out there to like some people that actually like have a big audience. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, um, I mean, I suppose influencers would be. The yeah, right that word. would be probably. But right. like, I mean, how cool would it have been if like Chance the Rapper wore a shirt? What, yeah. I mean, but I'm just saying, like, we need people to vi- we need them to see it, and yes. like, it's hard for us to get out so many people to see it. You know, it's on totally. social media, but like, we're not just one of those other stores. You know, and we do so, think it resonates. Yeah. I mean, how many times have we seen people? I think their profile images were changed, like the fist. Yeah, oh yeah, that's true. That's seeing true. People yeah. sign, and then I hate to say, it, but like we saw others like take our design and put it in their oh, stuff. We've, like, we've oh, seen a few knockoffs around. We didn't make that. Right. But yeah, we, we're but, glad you okay. like it. Yes, we I are. I mean, yeah. seeing it is that a big problem for you, or do you want it to spread that way? Do you want, or do you, I mean, because it does. It's a, it's one of those business things too that you're like, oh, do I, do I need to trade right. this? I mean, if they're whatever, making it for their own, for their own apparel, like sure. you know, but okay, um, like yeah, we know. It. Mm-hmm. If the image is seen far and wide. That's wonderful. Yeah. At the same time, we'd like to be in. I mean, you mentioned like the corporate sponsorships. Right. I can't help but, and I, I 
I watch a lot of movies, but I thought of like how whichever one had Joseph Gordon Levitt with uh, I'm going on a tangent here. I'm getting to the point. Yeah. So like the Wayne Foundation in the movie did not fund like the orphanage that that Robin was part of. Right. And he got upset, and then Wayne ended up giving enough money to fund it like forever. Right. So when you mentioned sponsorships, like I would love to continue to find causes that we like if we were to get a big sponsor, a big company come along and say like yeah, like we're gonna give Chicago Hopes like this much money. They're set for the next twenty years. I would love to like move on and find something else that right. does that does need as much attention. So mm-hmm. as far as the bigger picture, yeah, like we we think giving given our given our background, given our, our experience in the workplace, given our experience out out there in the streets, literally been to every we've been to every single part of this because we believe in it. We think that we have a good p- yeah. finger on the pulse of like what folks need. Like, I would say we're also are. very entrepreneurial. So like Jason also, as a side note, he's also a real estate agent. Right. He also, I've always had like a side business in the like. Oh, you know, you know how to hustle. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, for sure, hustle, definitely. For we're, the right reasons. And we've been, yeah, we know how to hustle. That's for sure. We yes. have been like, it's like we've been eating and sleeping this business a lot. It's right. been pretty cool. It's been pretty amazing though. Yeah. You know, it's really awesome seeing the response that everybody has. It's awesome. Yeah. 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 And I hope uh, I want everyone to be able to see the the symbols that you guys have, the hats you have, the the clothes you have. Um, and most importantly, spread it too. So it's red. Thank it's you. red yeah. threads Thank you. Chicago, right? Dot com, yeah, yeah. redthreadchicago dot com. And then on social, it's all it's all of them are red. Yeah, red thread Chicago. Yes, mm-hmm. for Instagram Facebook and Facebook. Show. Yeah, awesome. Mm-hmm. Okay, is what am I? Anything else I'm missing? Oh, what do you red. Do you know that red? The real meaning behind it, what? It, I don't. Okay, no. so okay. red means. Um, so there's this movement. I think it started last year, the year before, called Red for Ed to okay. bring awareness. Um, it's a hashtag to bring awareness to public education that like it does even nationwide. So a lot of districts and a lot of states will wait like. South Carolina does red for red on Wednesdays. Gotcha. And so that's why we were like red and union red is a red is a union our color, but it's also an education color. I didn't see so, I didn't know that was in like Yeah, so apple, like when red. yeah, the, well, I guess that makes sense. Okay. But yeah. if you look up if you look up the hashtag red for ed, um there's people wearing red to show their solidarity with yeah. public education. So it's not about a union or anything, it's more about like we believe in public education system. Gotcha. It's pretty so, cool. Yeah, you do see it with the with this uh, teachers union yes. with the red. Yes, but it's uh, on a more national scale or global yes. scale at that. Red at that for too. I yes. didn't know that. That's mm-hmm. fantastic. So that's kind of so why, why you chose red. That's why we chose red threads. Yeah, got yeah. it. I, lo- yeah. I love that. Yeah. Well, and we're both Wisconsin Badgers, oh, so that's that helps true. too. Mm-hmm. We're not mm. proud of that right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we were like two weeks ago. Not anymore. Right, right. Yeah. So <laughs> basketball season's coming up. Well, may you know what? Maybe we can get them all to wear the shirts as well. About that. <laughs> we are gratefully red. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. All right, Th- Dana, Jason, thank you guys thank you. so much for for being here. And again, at Red Thread Chicago on all the social medias, and then RedThreadChicago.com. You could see the apparel. Uh, it's like I said, it's super cool. I clicked on it without knowing the story behind it, um, and it's a cool symbol. And especially if you love the city of Chicago, it's got the oh, yeah. flag mm-hmm. on on the fist as well. Super cool. So uh, RedThreadChicago.com, guys. Thank you so yes. much for coming. Thank you for thank everything you. you do thank at, you. in the thank education you. system. Thanks as well. for having thank us. Thank you. Thank you.